China's rise has attracted global attention, and many have focused on China's economic model behind its rise, which is of course important. But China's evolving political change has been somehow ignored by many. In fact, without much fanfare, China has established a system of meritocracy, or what can be described as selection plus election. Competent leaders are selected on the basis of performance and broad support through a vigorous process of screening, opinion surveys, internal evaluations, and various types of elections. This is much in line with the Confucian tradition of meritocracy. After all, China is the first country that invented the civil service examination system, or the Kezhu system. Today, China practices, not always successfully, but on the whole successful, meritocracy across the whole political strata, criteria based on poverty eradication, job creation. Local economic growth, social development, and increasingly, increasingly, environmental protection are all key criteria for selecting and promoting officials. A good example of this were the profiles of China's new leaders elected at the 19th Party's Congress. Six of the seven of the top leaders, members of Standing Committee of Political Bureau. Have run provinces or province-level municipalities, many of which, in terms of population or GDP, are equivalent to many nations combined. Indeed, the Chinese system of meritocracy today makes it inconceivable that anyone as weak as George W. Bush or Donald Trump could ever come close to the position of a top leadership. It's not far-fetched to claim that the China model is more about leadership rather than showmanship, as in the West. China's meritocratic governance challenges the stereotypical dichotomy of democracy versus autocracy. From a Chinese point of view, the nature of the state, including its legitimacy, has to be defined by its substance—that is, good governance.